part 2 of USCMA course is titled strategic finance. So you will find all topics related to financial management here. It has a totally six sections starting from financial statement analysis and ending with professional ethics. Each section has many subtopics. Instead of studying the sections in the order they are given in the LOS learning outcome statements, I suggest that you study the topics in the sequence I am going to explain in this video. The topics are arranged in a logical way so that studying becomes smoother. Start with understanding from where the company gets its finances. For this, study subtopic, raising capital and long term financial management both are there in corporate finance section. Once the company gets finances, it will take two kinds of decisions short term decisions and long term decisions. For short term decisions, study working capital management in corporate finance section. Next, take up decision analysis section. This section also deals with short term decisions. This section deals with CVP analysis, marginal analysis and pricing. For long term investment decision, study investment decision section. Then go for corporate restructuring topic and international finance topic. Both these topics are under corporate finance section. In subtopic international finance, you will study the reasons for fluctuations in foreign currency and its management. It is best to take up the subtopic impact of a foreign exchange fluctuations next. This is in financial statement analysis section. This topic deals with how foreign exchange fluctuation affects transactions and translations of financial statements. Then study risk and return topic under corporate finance section. Once you are done with studying subtopic risk and return, logically proceed to risk management section because it's a related topic. Next study financial statement analysis section remaining topics. Lastly go for professional ethics section. Systematic continuous study leads to success. Here are some of the tips on systematic study. Be thorough with all the concepts that are given in the textbook. Once you complete studying a particular subtopic, test yourself by attempting the MCQs and essay type questions. As you keep studying more and more, make a habit of revising what you have already studied. This note is regarding timing. Initially, you may not time yourself while attempting MCQ and essay type questions, but later on, as you get confidence, start managing time. Contact us if you need help with coaching.